Hello everyone, welcome back to Roblox Thrasher. Here we are with another video for you all. In this video we're going to talk about Energy Assault and how this game works, but before that be sure to subscribe to our channel. Without wasting much time, let's begin with our video. Gameplay. This game has 6 game modes, Domination, Hill Control, Free For All, Team Deathmatch, and Capture the Flag. The match is 10 minutes, earlier it used to be 15 minutes, at the end of the match the team with the higher score wins. In Hill Control, in every one song, one point is awarded to the team for controlling the hill. Members of the team have to maintain their position on the hill so as to control it. And after 10 minutes, the team with the highest points wins the game. In CTF, you'll be rewarded each time you capture the enemy's flags, and after 10 minutes, the team with the more points win. Team Deathmatch, after each kill, one point is awarded to the team, the team with the highest scores win after 10 minutes. In this artifact, a point is awarded to the team or the member of the team every time they capture an artifact, and the team with the highest score wins after 10 minutes. In FFA, the player with the highest number of kills wins, no teams are there in it. Let's talk about the guns in this game. There are 35 weapons in this game, and they might increase in the future to make this even more interesting for the players. The game has had 7 secondary weapons and 28 primary weapons. Primary Weapon In primary weapons, this game has various weapons, but knives and frag grenades are not included in them. Please let me tell you their names. They have sniper rifles, intervention, M82, and Dragonov. Shotguns are also available for the players, Benelli, Sawdoff, AA-12, and Spaz. They then have SMGs, MP5, Uzi, Chris, Scorpion, MP7, P90, and UMP. Battle Rifles, G3A4, and Scar are available. In LMGs, M240, and PKM are there for the players. And in DMRs, SKS, and VSS are available for the players. Now let's move on to the secondary weapons. In secondary weapons, they have Machine Pistols, Tech 9, is available for the players in the game. And in regular pistols, they provide the players with the Desert Eagle, Makarov, G17, M1911, and MP443. About the missions in the game. After each mission in the game, the player is awarded 500 credits, and each mission gives 250 credits to the player who completes them. And if you have double coins game pass, then you can earn 750 to 1500 credits per mission each day. Tips and tricks to ace in this game. If you still stay in the prone position, control tips will reduce your weapon speed, and they can even be applied to shotguns. Movement tips, the best way to dodge a bullet are either jump from strafing to left or right continuously, making it harder for your enemy to kill you. Never camp alone in one spot unless the whole troop is camping there with the attacker that won't be able to kill you quickly. Avoid peeking from the side, this will make it evident for the enemy to attack you. For example, you can shoot from the right side of the car, but then your second shot must be from the left side of the car. Combat Tips The player must maximize the headshots as they are more dangerous and kill the enemy easily and quickly. Use a sniper weapon, as it does the same amount of damage without using a scope. When you get shot at, your screen starts fading. At that time, hide it as risky for you to stay out. To listen to footsteps of your enemy clearly, turn up the volume of your device and wear headphones. This technique will save and at the same time you can kill more and more enemies. When using a knife, make sure that you are camouflaged in the right location as it becomes more challenging for the enemy to spot you. Many maps are your lifesaver as they help you know where your friends and enemies are standing within a short radius, but others can also look at the map. The trick is not only for you but also for your enemies. Blue arrows indicate friendlies while red is for enemies. Navigation tips in every map. There is an area common for you and your enemies. Never hide behind wood as bullets can pass through quickly and try to improvise your route if you are in a high area. Learn the spawn locations as they are helpful to locate your enemies and from where they can come. Knowing navigation tips will get you an advantage over others and can find a shortcut to your enemy. With this we come to the end of our video. I hope you guys liked it. Please share and subscribe to forget to hit the bell icon to keep yourself updated on all of our videos that we post. Thanks for watching.